Hi friends, in this video we will look at some of the basic DIR and CD commands in MS-DOS. So first of all, go to Start menu and search for CMD. And click on CMD to launch your command prompt. And there it is. Okay, so let's start with the most basic one. Uh, so if I write time and hit enter, this will show me my system's time. And similarly, if I write date, and this is my system date. You can also change it, uh, but I don't want it. Okay. Let's work with the uh, DIR commands. Before working with the DIR commands, uh, we must understand uh, the concept of the directories in MS DOS. Uh, so C is basically is my C drive, and this is my root drive. Okay and users is a folder inside my C drive as you can see here and this is C uh, users and future envision is a subdirectory inside my users directory inside my user there's future envision we are here right now in MS DOS okay if I write CD dot dot that means change directory dot dot if I hit enter this will move one level up uh, to the users folder. I was in future envision. Now, uh, by writing cd dot dot, I am here inside a users folder. If I write cd dot dot again, then I will be inside my C drive here. Okay. And uh, if I write here dir, that means directory. This will show me all the things, all the directories, everything inside my current working directory. And my current working directory is uh, C. As you can see, uh, when I hit enter after writing the DIR command, this shows us all the um, folders and directories uh, inside my C drive. Uh, Windows, RAMP, Perflog, uh, Program Files. These are some of the hidden files no, you can ignore them but MS-DOS don't ignore it okay if I want to um, change my directory then I will write CD uh, followed with my uh, folder name I will go to CD uh, program files program files okay now I am inside my program files uh, here okay and if I write here DIR, this will show me all the directories inside my program files here, all the directories. Okay, if I write DIR space slash W, that means run the DIR command and show me all the things in white format. As you can see, this uh, all the things are coming in white format. Okay, and similarly, if I write DIR space slash p okay uh, if I hit enter uh, then I can see all the things in one screen and it, uh, if I press any key this will show me uh, more files if you have lots of data and you cannot see all of them in one screen in this case you can use um, slash p uh, switch these are switches slash w slash p these all are the switches there are lots of switches but we are working with the most common one okay you can also combine these switches so if I write DIR uh, slash W space slash P and now all the things are coming in wide format as well as in one page the slash P means one page okay there is not enough information uh, to use slash P but it works okay inside my program files if I go to AMP, this is my application software, then I will write CD A I M P AMP. So I am inside my AMP folder. Now I want to directly go to my uh, root directory, uh, which is C. Okay, I want to go there inside my local disk C uh, without writing CD dot dot again and again. Okay, so in this case I will write CD space slash here and as I hit enter I will directly come into my C drive uh, so clear my screen CLS now if I um,
create few directories to demonstrate an example uh, inside my C drive I will create a new directory with the name FE okay inside this FE I'll write two directories one and another one two okay inside one I will create a directory 1.1 and 1.2 okay inside this 1.2 I'll create uh, a document a text document right and I will uh, write some characters under it I'll write hello okay okay and inside this directory too I will make another folder um, 2.1 okay and that's it okay now I want to just look at the FE folder uh, there this FE folder I want to check everything inside my FE folder and all the um, information that was inside this FE folder as well as their subdirectories so in this case I will write the command dir space slash s and my folder name which is FE okay uh, so here as you can see uh, it shows us all the things uh, all the information uh, first firstly it shows the information that was inside my FE uh, folder as you can see uh, my FE folder contains one and two right and uh, as you can see this is my FE folder it contains one and two okay and there are two directories as well dot and dot dot and uh, these are the directories which contain some most important information regarding this FE uh, directory structures. So you can ignore them, but MS DOS uh, uh, likes to show us. You can ignore them. Okay. It also tells us that there are zero files because there are no files. Okay. Then it shows us the information of FE1. Okay. What's inside FE1? Uh, it contains. Um, 1.1 and 1.2 uh, there it is 1.1 1.2 and no files 1.1 contains uh, nothing 1.1 contains nothing as you can see it's empty and 1.2 contains um, one text document and this text document contains five bytes one file and five bytes uh, five bytes because each character takes one byte so that's why five characters takes uh, five bytes all right okay and then f e2 and then there is 2 uh, 2.1 no files 2.21 so it shows us all the information of f e uh, folder and all the subfolders as well okay so clear screen to change the root directory uh, I will write D colon and there it is I am inside my local disk D uh, there I'm inside my local disk D here now I want to check um, uh, all the directories inside my Windows folder located at my uh, local disk C so in this case I will write DIR space C colon um, slash Windows okay and as I hit enter as you can see it shows us all the uh, directories inside my Windows folder inside local disk C okay I can also use uh, my switches uh, for example if I write the same command and space and if I write my page slash P oh sorry I didn't write the slash P there so it shows us all the information on one page as I hit any key to continue it continues okay till it ends okay so I want to change my you know, local disk D to C I will write C colon there I changed okay so uh, that's it uh, for this video uh, in the next video we will use some more basic commands 
and we will also work with the tire crease how you can manage the tire crease okay so see you in the next video thank you